Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever just been in a situation where you just can't seem to get a boyfriend or get a girlfriend? I mean, personally, I've never been in that situation. I'm just kidding. You're just getting real frustrated, you're getting real down on yourself, you don't know what's wrong with you, you need answers, you know? You need to figure it out. If you are somebody in that boat, fear not, because for today's video, we are going to be watching some and I like pause because I don't even know what to call them. We're gonna be watching some TikToks from some dating coaches, maybe? We'll go with dating coaches, be nice. In all seriousness though, there has been this massive trend of alpha males and being the most dominant, assertive alpha male you can possibly be. But not only do these alpha males just go on TikTok and show off their alpha qualities, but they also offer other young men advice on how to be as alpha as them. So for today's video, we're gonna be watching some TikToks from a few different misogynistic men, if we're being real. I post new videos every week here on my channel, so if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and do that right now. I'll wait for you, go ahead, go ahead, scurry on, click the button. Are you done? Thank you very much. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all those different places to keep as up to date with me as possible. And yeah, with no further ado, let's get into it because I need to know how to be an alpha male, okay? I mean, I also am not a dating expert. I am also not a dating coach, not a dating therapist, anything of the sort, but I feel like I want to give you guys my reaction from a woman's point of view. We have three different men here that are offering their dating advice to us. So we're just going to go ahead and start with um, this one. This first guy has been going very viral on TikTok, mostly because he's just getting roasted. I'm pretty sure the one that went super viral, he deleted, rightfully so. Why is it that even beautiful women, bad bitches, are single today? It's simple. Feminism. <laughs> I know Sam Collins also did a video on him. He's been, he's been everywhere. So yeah, let's listen, see what he has to say, and uh, yeah, see what we think. If I can give some dating advice to women, I would tell you, number one, there's two types of guys in this world. There's more the leadership, alpha, dominant type of guys like myself, usually the breadwinner. Or there's more of the submissive type of guy who likes to let his women lead and she's more of the breadwinner. I feel like money really does not have anything to do with whether or not you're the dominant or submissive partner in the relationship. But I mean, maybe that's just me. But why don't you guys, you guys, most of you guys try to chase and be with more tom dominant type of guys, but you don't be submissive. Try being submissive. See what makes you feel better. I mean, you only have one life. So why don't you try it? You know what I'm saying? He's like begging women to be submissive for him. He's like, just... Try being submissive. It'll be fun. Please, babe. And the thing is, is you guys think submissiveness is, is bad. What are you talking about? Submissiveness is the most feminine trait. That's why I can't be submissive. It doesn't feel natural to me. Being a leader, being dominant, being a man and masculine, it's the most masculine thing you could do is lead. Most of you women are submissive, right? When you're submissive to the universe, trusting your intuition, not chasing, sitting back waiting, that's submissive to the universe. You guys are submissive all the time when you sit back and, you know, make me chase after you and do all that stuff and now you don't want to be submissive anymore. So upset. He's so butthurt. That video was titled, My Advice to Women Dating. And the only advice that he has to offer is, be more submissive, it'll be better. We have one other video from this man and he talks a little bit more about what being submissive means to him. So let's just watch it and see what he really wants from a woman. Just a disclaimer, I'm a heterosexual male, but I know myself and I know my boys and I know how we rock and I know what would keep me would me would want to keep a woman around long term so if i was a woman in 2021 and moving forward how i would keep a man with money looks or status is so simple the first thing i would do is allow the man to lead say for instance he was like yo babe i'm gonna pick you up at five o'clock we're gonna go here at this time get ready i would let him do that because that would show me that he has the right qualities i'm looking for long term provide protect and lead making dinner reservations is now providing protecting and lead i i mean okay i i'll give you that one sure i'll go with it the number two thing I would do is I'd be considerate. So if he's hungry or if his room's dirty or his house is dirty, I'd clean it and cook for him because that would show him that I'm a supportive woman, which is very important long term. And I'm not combative. I would consider myself a very considerate person. Consider, considerate. You know, you know. If someone I love is hungry, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll make them some food, whatever. Like I'll help clean, like I'll, you know, I'll do my part, whatever. But something about it coming from a man and a man saying that this is what's going to make you a valuable woman or a successful girlfriend just like doesn't sit right with me. Like there's a difference between making food for somebody because you love them and you care for them and making food for somebody because it's expected of you. Like you can just say you don't know how to cook. I'll buy you a cookbook. We can get takeout. It's okay. Number three thing I would do is I'll fill his desire. So what I would do is I wouldn't do it too quick because then he'll take it for granted, but I wouldn't do it when to make him wait too long because then he'll become resentful. So around, I would make him wait to like the second or the third day. And when we do establish the fun, I would do it every day and I would have him wrapped around my fingers. And I really don't understand how y'all having these problems. It is so easy. <laughs> 
Great advice. Love it. Thank you so much, sir. So what have we learned here? To find a man and to hold down a nice, high value, successful man, you got to be submissive because that is the most natural form of femininity out there. And that's what men need. You got to clean up his dirty undies because he doesn't know how to do his own laundry. You got to make him food. You have to cut up his food so he doesn't choke on it because, you know, he, he doesn't know how to use a knife yet. Oh, wait, no, that's for your three year old. Sorry, I got them mixed up. Just the way that he frames that is so gross to me. Like, call me cheesy, whatever, but I feel like what, being intimate with somebody, it shouldn't be you fulfilling their desires. It should be like, you, you know, like you share a little, you feel like each other's, you know what I mean? Maybe I'm looking into it too hard and like reading into it too much, but I don't know. He just, he leaves a very bad uh, smell in the air, if you will. I was going to say a bad taste in my mouth, but he's not anywhere near my mouth, honey. Mm -mm. So the next men's dating coach, as we're referring to them, doesn't talk to us, thank the fucking Lord. But they post videos that are very similar to this one. It's captioned, I love women, they're the best. And then underneath it, it says, I love when women make me food. I love when women give me back massages. I love when they know how to be quiet, when they like to submit, when they only talk to me, when they never have any fun. That one's like self-explanatory. I'm gonna get into that one. We all know why that one's messed up. And then further proof that this person just hates women. So this one says, unattractive things girls do, and it's a list. So it says, high body count, nose rings, random ass tattoos, a big attitude in quotes, I don't, okay. Being disrespectful, comparing you to her past, virtue signaling, clubbing and partying, or in vaping slash smoking. Me hiding my nose ring. I'm like, some of these, you know, I can give to you. You know, if you're not like a clubbing, partying person, you might not want somebody that, you know, goes clubbing and partying all the time. I also would not want to have a partner that constantly is comparing me to their past. But you have to think about it in the context of his other videos. He's very much, doesn't like women. It's giving very much misogynistic. It's giving very much, I hate women. It's giving very much, I don't know what else it's giving, but it's not cute. It's like the same as the last guy where he needs his woman to be submissive so he can just do whatever he wants to them. All right, we are finally on to our last men's dating coach for today. This person is like the funniest of all of them. He just like cracks me up. It just gets me good every time. We actually have four TikToks from this one guy, so. This is how I hacked female psychology. So when girls look at a guy, they tend to box him in as a certain type of guy. Oh, he's a fuckboy. Oh, he's a nice guy. Oh, this guy's a creep, etc., etc. Now, I personally want to be perceived as the fuckboy or the player. So when girls look at me, they're like, okay, this guy gets girls. Or, okay, I would have sex with this guy. So what I did was I studied all of these quote-unquote fuckboys, and I look at all of the physical accessories that they had, and I made a list. And within a week, I had all of these accessories. Results were crazy. I was like, wow, this worked more than I thought it would. If you're curious about what these accessories are, like for part two. Sir, I can already guess what the accessories are. It's gonna be the fake earring, it's gonna be the eyebrow, and it's gonna be the little like chin fuzz. But I just wanna quickly clarify, this is not hacking anybody's psychology. You know, he, I think he knows that though. I think it's just for the video. It seems like you guys are really interested in what these accessories are, so here they are. Tattoos, earrings, trendy haircut, eyebrow cuts, a uh, jean jacket, tight jeans with tears, tight shirt, muscles, chain, bracelet, maybe dye your hair. Oh, he didn't see the chin strap. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he just say tight jeans with tears? I don't think that's the vibe you want to go for. This one isn't very sexist, so it's fine. I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, go too hard. I mostly included this because I just thought it was funny that he's actually giving this advice to other men. Just get some earrings, like, you just gotta get, like, you know, the player pack. The Walmart player pack, you know, they got it on aisle four. Everything you need. They got the hair gel, everything. I went out last night to go talk to girls, but I was frustrated because too many girls were trying to have sex with me. You might be like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? That doesn't even make sense. Well, let me explain. I am a dating coach, and my job is to work on my social skills and to become the best I could possibly be at cold approach pickup. But I can't do that if I walk into a place and there's already a lot of girls that know me that are trying to have sex with me. It just makes it too easy and I'm not able to work on my skills, work on my craft. 99% of guys won't understand the headspace that I'm coming from. But if you do, then good shit. We need to be friends, bro. I don't even know what to say. Girls, back off. He's trying to work. He is busy. He's taken. He's unavailable. On the job. A working man. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. On the clock. This is the final TikTok from this man. The final TikTok for this video. It is truly the best one. What was this clap that I was just doing? Girl, play the TikTok. This is why some girls reject me because of too much attraction. So there's two ends of the spectrum. Attraction and comfort. 
I feel like that's not the scale. I feel like it's not like attractive, 10 out of 10, comfort, zero out of 10. I feel like those are not the two ends. Attractive, unattractive. Interested, not interested. Comfortable, uncomfortable. Like those aren't on the same wavelength. If you have too much attraction in the girl's eyes, she will perceive you as too high value and she will be afraid that you are going to reject her. She feels that she isn't good enough, so she'll reject you because of that. On the other hand, if you give her too much comfort, then she sees you as too low value and she feels that she is superior to you and she will leave because of that. I mean, I guess it does translate. Like if, <laughs> if you're too like on the unattractive side of the attractive, unattractive scale, then yeah, she's gonna leave you because she thinks that she can find somebody more attractive, period. But for the other thing that he said, I don't think that people leave you because they're too attracted. I mean, maybe, but like, no, I don't think people do that. I think you might be mistaken. My problem used to be that I gave girls too much comfort by being overly nice, supplicating, not being confident or masculine. I was being too nice. I was being too friendly. I wasn't being masculine. This man don't. Girls are now rejecting me because of too much attraction. And this is due to my work that I put in this field of developing my charisma, confidence, and social skills. And now I give off too much of the F-boy vibe instead of the boyfriend vibe. So now the girls are really attracted to me, but they can be so attracted to the point to where they don't want to talk to me because they think I'm just going to sleep with them and then ghost them right after, or I'm going to be a D-bag. The problem is my aura is a bit too player-ish, so I need to tone it back a bit if I want to get more results. Instead of being all the way on the attraction spectrum, I need to be somewhere along the middle or calibrate to the girl that I'm talking to. Whatever you gotta tell yourself, dude, I guess you... This is what I should just start doing. I just need to start telling myself that. Like when guys like reject me because I'm trans, I'm like, it's because I'm too much of a woman for them. Duh. Like, no, sir, he thinks I'm a tranny. He thinks I'm a man. I mean, maybe there are some women out there that would not date somebody because they think that they're too good for them, but like, Girl, don't do that. Well, you guys, that was the end of those TikToks. That was all that I had to show you guys for today. You guys should now be well on your way to getting yourselves a girlfriend, getting yourselves a date, a boyfriend, a partner, whatever you're looking for. These people, these men, these men's dating coaches really help us out. So just thank you, babes. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. I post videos every week here on my channel, so make sure to subscribe right now if you are did you guys hear that squeak? Was that a mouse? Little rat! Um, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe if you're not hurting and you'd like to be. I post every week. But yeah, other than that, I think I'm going to go. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!